Iran predicted Facebook claims Egyptian Islamic preacher. Classic. I love a good, you know, Quran prophecy. On May 22nd, Dr. Mabrook Atia, a Egyptian Muslim preacher and professor at Egypt's prestigious Al-Azhar University, claimed on a Facebook live stream that both the internet and Facebook were mentioned in verse 83 of the Quran. The verse reads, and when there comes to them information about public security or fear, they spread it around. But if they had referred to it back, if they had referred it back to the messenger, the Prophet Muhammad, or those of authority among them, then the ones who can draw correct conclusions from it would have known about it. And then he said, quote, quote, isn't this talking about the internet, you people who love to broadcast and spread news, Dr. Atiyah asked? Atia was trying to express that people who spread news without verifying it are, quote unquote, sick at heart. Another Islamic studies professor at his university, uh, Amna Nusir, criticized Atia's claims by saying that these remarks were, quote, contrived and a deviation from the meaning of the Quran. Wait, how does he know it was Facebook and not like TikTok? Or, <laughs> or like, how does he verify that? I mean, I, maybe um, it was just, he was on a Facebook live stream. He was like, I mean, this is, this is what I'm talking about. This is why we're here. <laughs> wait, oh, okay. I mean, he's using YouTube. How, how is this not about TV? No, that, that clip how, was then taken and posted on YouTube. Like, you know, like he's like, oh, it's the internet. Maybe he's talking about the internet as a whole, but he's on TV. Maybe it's about like TV. How is he identifying? What are you talking exactly about? Which... He he is often on TV. He wasn't during this. Oh, you mean in general? No, in general, the verse could be referring to all sorts of media. If he wants to say, but it's about yeah. media, you know, maybe it's maybe it was radio. I don't know. <laughs> like, Broadcasting. How is he identifying? News? Yeah, how is he identifying that this is specific? Well, girl, the Quran or... predicted that too, clearly. Yeah, well, he's on it. He's using media. So what the hell? So are you <laughs> like, he's obviously using media to spread his message. So what is he talking about? Is he a hypocrite? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> is he's on YouTube? Is this his YouTube channel? I don't know. I mean, if it is, then how do you know it wasn't about YouTube? Okay. Okay. I, I think I think the Quran is fine with Facebook, but TikTok is where the Quran draws a line. Okay, this verse. Honestly, me too. To I understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know what to say. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it could also be. That. <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't think the Quran has a problem with that. Um, what do you think is the um, most ridiculous? claim about like the quran prophesizing something that you've heard this is like medium tier for me yeah i well i mean I, I, we were told in school that the, you, you could find um the blueprints for how to build like a, a boeing inside the quran okay <laughs> <laughs> No, like okay. good old <laughs> Islamic education. <laughs> no, it was like it's basically our all forms of technology. If you is hidden within the Quran, even if it comes, <laughs> yeah, and there, like a, every technology, like every technology that we have today, there's somehow Quran. If you there's an enigma that if you solve, you will be able to, you know find all the technologies of today already predicted by the Quran. Not only, not, it's not just prediction, it's, you know, accurate instructions exactly of how to do it. All of it is oh within God. the Quran. Yeah. Like, is, I mean, is I mean, the fabric of the universe, like... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Wow. Like, that's, that's the argument. So the Boeing example was just an example of saying, like, the entirety of knowledge is somehow condensed in the Quran in a very mysterious way. And if you were able to decipher that, you will be able to get everything from it, including, as an example, how to build a Boeing. Wow. Yeah, it reminds me of all yeah. those, like, conspiracies about, like, the numerology of the Quran. Like, if you, if, 
this is mentioned like five times and this is managed like twice as many times. And then if you, if you take the number of the verses and divide it by the number of chapters, like it reveals then God's mercy. Like stuff is so interesting to me. By the way, this guy is a li- literally a doctor. Like, is that like a real doc? Like, like actually, like he got a doctor. Where did he get his? Oh, from Al uh-huh, from Al Azhar University. Oh my God! So he's not a real. Doctor. I mean, that explains everything, right? You oh no, he actually teaches there. I don't know where he got his doc- doctor. I don't know where more. he got it, On but what? it's not. He's not a medical doctor. Oh, well, I didn't say that. Of course, it's not. <laughs> Anyways, medical doctor. I mean, <laughs> hey, that was racist. a really bad Zachariah impression. <laughs> like, <Okay>. Really bad. <laughs> um, okay, can we clap for the next news? Um, wait, this is a funny comment from Secular Rarity saying, trying to unravel all the BS in the Quran to give details for an airplane and roasting it uh, and, and roasting a chicken, etc. sounds exactly what I imagine hell is like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. There's only one medical doctor. <laughs> medical <Yes>. doctor? <laughs> hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below